How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about your audio ports on your PC and what they all do. So normally a PC will have at least one or two of these. So we're going to go from the minimum amount that you probably have to the most that you can probably have and go through each one and what they do. So every computer is going to have at least one of these and this is going to be the green one and this green one is line out and line out is basically going to be your speakers and you typically this will be your front speakers it can also be your headphones and if you have a laptop this can probably be the only port it just might not be green and that's fine it's still your line out now the second most common one you're going to see is the pink one why they chose pink for this i am not sure we'll get into that later why i think it should be red but either way pink is going to be for your mic in so this is if you have a microphone and you want to plug it into your computer that is going to be mic in again on laptops you might not have it as pink most don't and you might actually also have this as a combo port a lot of laptops actually only use one port and that is for your line out and for your mic in. So it actually uses one port and does both functions. So you can either plug external speakers to that port or headphones for the green ports functionality, or you can plug in a mic and use it as a mic's functionality. Yo! And the third one here, which is on very basic boards, is the blue port. And blue port is your line in. So line in is going to be something like a CD player or maybe an external MP3 player you want to plug into the computer, not hear it out, but actually put that info into your computer. Hey guys, real quick, go like and subscribe. All right, bye. And together, as you see, we already have blue, green, and pink. And I don't know why they chose pink because we already have the whole RGB, but for some reason they did PGB. Anyways, enough of that rant, let's move on. You might actually have some more ports here, so let's get to those. And these ports would either be black, orange, or kind of like a gray or white. It's typically listed as gray, but I think it looks white. Either way, these are all gonna be sound ports for surround sound. So whether you have 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound, these will be the ports for your other speakers in your system. So the orange port is going to be your center speaker or your subwoofer. So if you don't end up using this port, it's probably because you don't have a center or a subwoofer speaker. The next port here is the black port, and the black port is going to be for the rear speakers. So those are the speakers that are going to be behind you for the surround sound. And lastly here we have the white or gray port, and that is going to be for your side speakers. So those are going to be the speakers on your sides. And that is pretty much it for the color ports. Now we're not done yet because there might actually be one more port that you have there and it might actually not look anything like these. It will be a square. And sometimes you'll even see some red light illuminating out of it. And you're probably wondering, why is this grouped together with my other audio ports and it looks nothing like them? And that's because it is nothing like them. This is actually a fiber optic port and this is called SP Diff. Hey guys, Max from the Future here real quick. Actually, SP Diff can be coaxial or fiber optic. It just depends on what standard it's using. More commonly, you're gonna see it as the fiber optic version, especially nowadays. So instead of using a typical electrical connection, this one actually uses light from a fiber optic cable. And now you can actually use this on a lot of external speakers. I've seen it on a lot of speaker bars instead, typically more for TVs. I'll see it be used for, I don't actually see many products use it for PC, but it is there nonetheless if you actually have that to need it. These are pretty cool cables though, if you wanna check out some more videos on that. I haven't made one specifically about that, but if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something real quick. If you have any other questions, leave them below in the comments and I'd be happy to talk to you guys there about them. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, like this video if you like videos like this. I have a ton more little explanation videos. If you ever are curious about something on your PC, go check them out. I'll have a couple links in the description that I think you'll probably like after seeing this one. But other than that, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.